Hello, so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make some really simple laminate flooring. Um, I'm just going to start off by creating a sort of rectangular box as in, in the shape of the planks of the laminate flooring. Um, let's get rid of pink, that's not very nice. Um, I'm just going to toggle F4 so I see my edged faces and press Alt W to fill out this um, into a full screen window. I'm going to add a edit poly modifier onto this and I'm just going to go around and smooth off some of the edges. You can use the camphor tool uh, to do this because it's, um, well, I doubt it's going to be animated so you don't have to therefore mod uh, model it in quads. So I'm just going to put a slight little curve there and you should see that oops, that we have this curved edge now which looks nicer and may as well get rid of this polygon on the bottom because it's not going to be seen. Right. So that's that, we've basically we've created the plank already. Um, I'm going to go ahead and texture this now. Um, I'm just going to press M to open up my Select Material Editor. And I'm going to be using a material I got from vraymaterials.de, um, which is called Hardwood by Constructs or something. Um, and I've already loaded it in here. I'll uh, try and find it again to put a link in the download description in the uh, video description so you can download it yourself. I'm just going to apply that material to this plank of wood and if you can't see it in the viewport you need to click the show shaded material in viewport and you'll be able to see um, the material on the object. But at the moment, um, as far as I'm aware this material is quite stretched, it doesn't look too bad actually. But I'm going to apply because it's a uh, it's a box basically. I'm just going to use UV W map and change it to box, and then I can use this gizmo. And I'm going to make it into a square really because that's what bitmap is being loaded in. Um, also going to rotate it by 90 degrees so the so the grain runs up the uh, panel and just makes it look nicer. So you can see we've got our grain running below. I'm going to make that a bit smaller so we get a more defined image. I'm also going to drag this out a tiny bit. So yeah, we're going to try and make this square so we don't have any stretch materials. And if we make it slightly bigger, then we can duplicate this object and move this around and get different pieces well, different looking pieces of wood. Um, so I'm going to click off that and just drag this up. And no, wait a second, I'll Alt W to make it full screen and go away. And shift, drag. And we want to place this closely on the edge. A slight gap is good because it gives us a uh, dark line when we render it. Um, I'm going to create, I'll just create three copies of that. And if we click on this and then go to our gizmo, we can, I'm going to go back into the perspective. We can go to our gizmo on each different plank and just make these pieces of wood look different for each bit, like a real laminate flooring would look. Um, so there we go. <clears throat> I'm then going to shift drag to the X, same again, and just make the one copy because I want to then drag it upwards about halfway. It doesn't have to be exact. And then on these new four again, just 
going to move the gizmo around, get different looking planks. to Alt W to get back out and go into the top again and I'm going to shift drag these over and I'm going to copy them, I don't know, ten times. You just do it for as big as you want your scene to be. Um, and yeah, to be honest, that's basically it. Um, I mean, you can see the duplicates, so you can you can change the gizmos for more of these if you want. But you know, it's up to you how much time you want to spend on it and how scrutinously you're going to be looking at the material. I'll also maybe go and change the uh, bump map a bit for this. Just tone it down because it's a bit too bumpy. 16. But yeah, there you have it. There's your uh, your um, laminate flooring. To fix, I said to leave gaps in the wood, and I would then just go to uh, V-Ray and add a V-Ray plane, and then that's just gonna. create a bottom when you render and you can, I don't know, apply a black material to this if you so wish um, yeah, just it doesn't really matter, you're not really going to see it There's your your laminate flooring for you to put into your scene. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs>